How do I use PuTTY to connect to a remote server? Hello, folks. Today we're going to learn how to use PuTTY to connect to a remote server. PuTTY is a free and open source terminal emulator, serial console, and network file transfer application. It supports several network protocols, including SSH and Telnet, making it a versatile tool for connecting to remote servers. Where can I download PuTTY? Before you can use PuTTY, you need to download and install it on your computer. PuTTY is widely available online and can be downloaded from its official website. Since we're not including links in this guide, you can simply search Download PuTTY on your preferred web browser to find it. Make sure you download the version that corresponds to your operating system, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. Once downloaded, follow the on-screen instructions to install it. How to launch PuTTY Once PuTTY is installed, it's time to launch it. On Windows, you can find PuTTY in your Start menu under All Programs. For Linux and Mac OS users, you can launch PuTTY from your terminal. How do I connect to a remote server? This is the main part of the process where you actually establish the connection to the remote server. Follow these steps. 1. Launch PuTTY. Open the PuTTY application. 2. Enter the server details. In the PuTTY configuration window, you'll see a field for hostname or IP address. Here, you need to input the hostname or IP address of the server you want to connect to. Below this, you can select the connection type, SSH, Telnet, Rlogin, etc. The default port will change based on the protocol you select. 3. Save the session, optional. If you think you'll be connecting to this server often, you might want to save the session details for easy access in the future. To do this, enter a name for the session in the Saved Sessions field and then click Save. 4. Connect. Once you've entered the required information, click Open at the bottom of the window. If this is your first time connecting to the server from your device, you'll receive a security alert about the server's host key not being cached. Click Yes to proceed. Once connected, you'll be asked for your username and password for the server. After entering these, you'll be connected to the server and can start issuing commands. And there you have it. You've successfully used PuTTY to connect to a remote server. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Keep exploring and remember, understanding how to connect to a remote server is a valuable skill in the world of networking, system administration, and software development. Happy coding!